In this video, let's take a look at the interface segregation principle. So the definition states that in the field of software engineering, the interface segregation principle ISP states that no client should be forced to depend on methods it does not use. Okay, let's go back to our project to see how we can apply it. Okay, we are back in our project. Let's talk about uh, this enemy. We can talk with this enemy, we can interact with it, but let's say it is hitting us. I don't like that. Let's hit him back. But let's say we also want to hit some of those rocks. So we can really add NPC to those rocks because those are not NPCs, but we want to add a functionality that we can hit back the enemy. So let's implement hitting functionality. I'm going to stop the game. Okay, so we want to hit objects, so let's create an interface. Let's right click, create a C sharp script. Let's create I hittable. And let's open the script up. Great. Let's delete everything from the script. Let's change the class keyword to interface. And let's delete the mono behavior inheritance. Great. Here we are going to have only one method void get hit. We could use it for our player, but let's not focus on our player right now. Let's focus on the interface segregation principle. So we have our I hitable. Let's copy the name. Let's minimize Visual Studio. And we want to hit our NPC. So let's go to our NPC and let's simply implement the interface. Great. We need to Alt Enter and implement this interface. And now there is an issue because this get hit is not virtual. So let's add it virtual. Get hit. Great. Uh, it doesn't complain because we can do it. Let's debug.log here. Let's pass it. Ouch. Okay. Let's go back to Unity. Great. So now what we would like to do is go to our player AI interactions. Great. And when we are searching for our collider, var hitable equals hit.collider dot get component of type i hitable okay and if we have such uh, such object we are going to ask hitable question mark dot get hit so we are going to only call this get hit if hitable is not now great so now we could go back to unity press play and we should be able to walk towards the dog and you can see that ouch was uh, pressed a couple of times was uh, printed a couple of times but if we clear the console and go to our gunpa again ouch is pressed uh, printed a couple of times so we do not want that so this is what uh, interface segregation principle stands for so let's go back to npc and let's delete this or cut it out the get hit and let's delete this inheritance from mono behavior from the npc and we only want to uh, the NPC enemy to implement this interface. So let's go to our NPC enemy and implement this I hitable. Alt enter, or actually we can paste what we have copied below. Okay, great. Okay, so now let's go back to Unity. Great. Let's press play. And we are going to walk towards our dog. Now we can get ouch from him. Now we can go back to our grandpa and now we do not hit him okay so that's basic idea that we want to uh, have in mind when we are implementing interfaces although maybe we have most npcs that are monsters that can be hit we do not want to implement this interface on npc because then our grandpa would get hit more generally we want to only implement this interface on our enemies or we could create another class or maybe an abstract class of type enemy npc enemy and our enemies would then extend npc enemy instead of extending the npc so we would have npc enemy and this would be npc enemy dog for example or i think it is called kobold and it would have i hittable because npc enemy would have i hittable while npc friendlies would not have i hittable and this is the idea behind the interface segregation principle 
Okay, great. I hope it gave you some clarity over the interface segregation principle. And the last principle that we will discuss in the next video is the dependency inversion principle. So see you there.